Entering our second month of quarantine, I've already gone through all the phases at this point. I've organized everything, redid my room, even kind of learned an instrument. I'm kind of hitting a wall and need something new, and I've gotten a million ads for something called Masterclass. Masterclass, in case you've been living under a rock, is basically courses from A-list talent from a bunch of different industries. Really interesting, the people they've got on here. Martin Scorsese, Natalie Portman, Shonda Rhimes. Like, it's actually incredible that they got these people on board. So the quality of these looks incredible, but can you really learn from an online course or are these just kind of for entertainment? So I am kind of skeptical going into this, but today I'm gonna try masterclass and see if it's worth it. I went ahead and just got the unlimited, but for the sake of this video being not all over the place, I'm just gonna do one course. And I've decided that's gonna be cooking. I think this will be a good one to test out because we'll see some tangible results. Plus, selfishly, I just wanna eat some delicious food. So before, my cooking skills mostly just consist of frozen Trader Joe's meals I can cook in a pan. It works for me, but it's certainly not gourmet and you know, I have the time right now so I might as well step it up. So Masterclass actually has like 13 culinary arts classes. I feel like I just gotta do Gordon Ramsay's though. He just seems entertaining. So let's see what we can learn. Okay, so we're gonna start watching the actual course. It seems like there's a few foundational episodes before we start actually cooking anything. The episodes really aren't that long. So I can confirm that the quality is 10 out of 10, just beautiful cinematography really for the entire course. It's not just the trailer. These really are very well produced. The quality is the foundational courses are nice to start with because you can just sit back and watch. You don't have to do anything. It has a relaxed vibe. There isn't a whole lot of background music, so it's not overproduced. There were times I kind of zoned out and had to go back. It is still a class, so you might get a little bit bored. That's pretty normal. I was always asking mom, no, how'd you get that? You get a whole background story from Gordon as well, which is probably cool for like his fans. I didn't really care about this, but it was kind of cool to hear, I guess. You can watch at 1.5. Five speed. Snaps. My crucial ligament. So after watching the foundations, kitchen layout, knife skills, all of that, I got to an actual recipe episode. So I have this whole list of stuff to get for these three recipes, and it looks like we're gonna have to go to like more of a specialty place for some of it. Some of it I've never even seen at a grocery store. Some of them are very expensive. This isn't really like a casual cooking course. This is like you're cooking for a French restaurant. It's more of a dinner party cooking course. Okay, so really the only thing that was hard to find was truffle. Everything else you could find at a normal grocery store and truffle is optional you don't actually need that you could probably get some truffle oil online or something but I love truffle so I wanted to get it so I was able to find pretty much everything but I won't lie it it was kind of expensive. Some of the stuff like grapeseed oil, truffle, just like the nicer, more organic vegetables. I went all out, basically. I'm excited, I think it's gonna be good. So this is everything I got for just two of the recipes. It's kind of a lot of stuff, minus the champagne and the olives. I just kind of wanted to get those. So the first thing we're gonna make is the brioche poached egg dish. I watched it one more time through before starting. One thing I did take away from this already is the importance of just setting out everything you need beforehand. So before this masterclass, I actually chopped everything just with a steak knife. And I learned that that's not what chefs do. And actually that the base of the knife is easier for cutting things. I'm still not very good at it though. So I picked up some random tips from the course, but for the most part, once I went to make the recipes, I totally forgot everything from the foundational courses. You know, you definitely need to practice those and I didn't and it shows. Masterclass has iPad and iPhone apps and they also have a downloadable workbook and I found that to be very helpful when I went to actually make the recipes because I could never really remember what I was doing. It must be beautiful in there. So I didn't really specify how I'm supposed to cut these. Oh gosh. So they really do ease you in with the easiest dish. I had never poached an egg before, so I was kind of nervous about this. Sort of burned the toast. It, it's not beautiful. This one did not take that long to make, probably 15 minutes. So obviously it doesn't look as beautiful as Gordon's, but let's see how it tastes. All right, time to try my masterpiece. I actually am very weirded out by runny eggs, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this. Oh, ooh, a beautiful runny egg. Oh my God, I need to take a photo. Okay, okay, this looks so good. Mmm, 
I like can't believe I made this. Wow. It honestly wouldn't even take that long to make normally. It just took me a while because I was recording at the same time. So this first dish was really good and it pushed me to poach an egg. I'd never done that before. I feel like I really learned something and I like how it turned out. I would totally make this one again. So now it was time to try something a little more advanced. Dinner. So I made the chicken supreme recipe and going into it, I was like, how am I gonna do this? This is a lot going on. But I was able to successfully make this and I learned a whole new technique to make chicken. It already smells so good in here. It took me about an hour, but I was able to successfully make this and it tasted so much better. I was doing it all wrong before. So I'm really glad I did this one. Listen to that sizzle, that crackle. So here's how it turned out. Mine really isn't as pretty as his because obviously he's made it like a thousand times. So sadly the audio didn't work here, but you can tell by my facial expression. This was so good. I FaceTimed my parents and they didn't believe I made it. They thought I postmated it. And this one I actually have made one other time. Like I love this, but there are some cons to this. There is a lot of salt and a lot of butter and pretty much I feel like everything Gordon Ramsay makes. So even though it really was delicious, probably not a meal I would make very often because it's just not good for you. The last dish I made was by far the hardest. It was a salmon and shellfish minestrone. I've never even bought clams and mussels before. This one was definitely the hardest for me. It was like a lot going on at the same time. So I feel like I've definitely picked up a few tips for how to cook the salmon from Gordon. What am I gonna do with all this? This is so much food. I was able to make this one without burning anything. Like I, I accomplished it. It just wasn't my favorite to make or to eat, to be honest. Uh-oh. Not what I meant to do. I think that's just because I'm not the biggest shellfish person though. Like you might love this one. It's just me personally. I didn't really like it that much. Okay, so here's how it turned out. It looks pretty good. Oh my God, it's so hot. Um, yeah, let's see how it tastes. Since I made a ton, I'm having my roommate Lauren try it too. So we'll see. Try it together. Let's see how it is. Okay, I don't know what's a clam or what's a mussel, but they both freak me out. I guess it's good. Not a fan? Mm. Wow, the salmon cooked nice. Really good. I cooked it very slow, like he said to, and it's, oh, it's so much better. So I did learn how to cook salmon better. That's the one thing I really took away from this. I learned how to cook meat and seafood better. The soup part of this, I just really wasn't a fan. I know I'm never gonna make this one again. With this one, for the price of all the ingredients, I could post mate a much better meal than this one that I made, so I'd probably do that. Okay, so all in all, is Masterclass worth it? Yes and no, it really depends on who you are. I would say this course is for someone that likes to host dinner parties, has a lot of time on their hands, and doesn't really care about the health level of their food because there's a lot of salt and butter in pretty much all of these. Really think to yourself, do I wanna learn how to make and eat that recipe? Or am I just being mesmerized by the amazing editing of the trailer? Because I think I was just enticed by the really cool editing of the trailer. And when I really looked at what I was gonna make, I only wanted to make like two of the recipes. I think for the price, Masterclass is still pretty worth it if you do the unlimited for a year. Gordon Ramsay's just wasn't exactly a fit for me, but I've actually already started dabbling in some of the others. There's a bunch of different cooking ones. Another thing that I think is good to know is just because it's called Masterclass does not necessarily mean that you're gonna be a master at whatever it is after you take this class. You'll probably pick up a few things from it that makes you better at that thing, but don't expect to be at the level of whoever it is teaching the class. That is if you even finish the class, which most people don't. To be honest, if I wasn't making a video of this, I probably would have just watched a few of the episodes and maybe made one recipe and then forgot about it. And I have a feeling a lot of people probably do that. Masterclass says they have a 25% completion rate, so I'm sure a lot of people just do that. Another thing to consider is how many great free tutorials there are on YouTube. You know, you don't really need to take a masterclass to learn how to cook. No doubt though, the masterclass ones are much better quality. And if you're a big fan of someone who does the class, then yeah, it might be worth it to you. All in all, I would say if you're really gonna, you know, watch these, it is worth it to do the unlimited and split it with a friend. They have this buy one, get one sort of thing. So I know what a lot of people do is just convince a friend to also get it and then they split the cost. $90 for a full year. If you go down to a month, that's like less than Netflix. And there's like hundreds of hours of content in there. Like 
you really aren't gonna run out of stuff to watch. When I got it, I was shocked at how many classes there were. I did not realize. So that's my full review. Hopefully this gave you a better idea of what master classes actually like because before I got it, I was like, what is it really like? Like just some interviews? I don't know. If you do wanna get master class, I'll link it down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you did enjoy this video, like if it did provide some value to you, that would be really cool if you bought it through that link. But totally cool if not, I really did try and make this an unbiased review of just what it's actually like because it's not all good like I still have the salmon recipe in my fridge and I don't want it for leftovers like I just don't like how it turned out also I don't know if you guys have heard but I made a podcast so link to that below check it out just check it out wherever you like to listen to podcasts all right that is it for this video I will see you guys next week bye